evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to West Virginia's 2015 Joyful Night Celebration. Let's have a round of applause for all the West Virginia marching bands joining us this evening. The Cabell Midland Marching Knights under the direction of Tim James. The Hurricane High School Redskin Band under the direction of Sam Leffingwell. The Hurricane Middle School Redskin Band under the direction of Julia Paxton. The Huntington High Highlander Band under the direction of Andrew Pinnock. The Polka High School Marching Dots under the direction of Mr. Bob Carroll. And the Spring Valley Marching Timberwolves under the direction of Joe Hardin. These bands make their communities and every West Virginian proud as they have represented our state all across the nation. Also, let's give a stirring round of applause for the Appalachian Children's Chorus under the direction of Selena Midkiff. Thank you for sharing the gift of music with us this evening. And now please direct your attention to the Capitol Steps for the members of the Mountaineer Challenge Academy Honor Guard posting of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the governor of the state of West Virginia, Earl Ray Tomlin, and the first lady of the state of West Virginia, Joanne Yeager Tomlin. To honor America, please welcome select members of the VIPs from Capitol High School in Charleston, West Virginia for the singing of our national anthem, immediately followed by the Pledge of Allegiance led by Colonel Paige Hunter and the Mountaineer Challenge Academy. Oh, say can you see my 
with the dawn's early light. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the To share the sounds of the holiday season, please again welcome the official Children's Chorus of the State of West Virginia, the world-renowned Appalachian Children's Chorus, led by conductor Selena Midkiff.
Ladies and gentlemen, now enjoy the sounds of our combined marching bands as they perform Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to the governor of the state of West Virginia, Governor Earl Ray Tomlin. Yeah. Thank you. Let's, let's hear it one more time for the bands. Ladies and gentlemen, they're amazing, aren't they? Well, good evening, everyone. And I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight as we kick off another year of Joyful Night. Joanne and I have always looked forward to this special evening because it brings together so many of our state's residents and families to celebrate the spirit of the holiday season. Five years ago, when I first became your governor, Joyful Night captured a special place in my heart. And today, it continues to be one of our favorite holiday traditions. Tonight, as I look into the crowd, we see so many familiar faces who have made this celebration one of their very own traditions. And a number of new families are just starting holiday traditions of their own. We hope you find the same joy and excitement in tonight's celebration as we do year after year. We have an outstanding lineup of musical performances and special activities for you tonight that will help us kick off the holiday season. You'll hear beautiful music from several of our state's best middle and high school marching bands, including groups from Hurricane Middle and Hurricane High, Polka Middle and Polka High, Huntington High School, Spring Valley High School, and Cabo Midland. We also have several choral groups with us tonight, including as you have heard, the Appalachian Children's Choir, the Lewis County Choir, and the Martin Luther King Jr. Male Chorus. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize our state's men and women in uniform who are with us this evening, including our young cadets from the West Virginia National Guard's incredibly successful Mountaineer Challenge Academy. Let's give them all a good round of applause. So thank you all for joining us tonight and for helping us to kick off the holiday season here in the Mountain State. We encourage you to support these wonderful performers at locations around the Capitol Complex this evening. Joyful night wouldn't be as beautiful or quiet as special without the beautiful Christmas trees donated by families across our state. In just a few moments, will light the beautiful blue spruce uh, pine 
which is in front of us here tonight. This tree was donated by Ed and Jenny Demmeyer of Beverly, West Virginia. At this, at th as this Christmas tree shines from this night forward, we hope it will serve as a reminder throughout the ho holiday season of the many blessings we have to be thankful for and the true meaning of this season. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all waited for. Tim James and your marching knights. Let's have a drum roll, please. For the lighting of the state Christmas tree donated this year, as the governor said, by Ed and Finn Dumeyer of Beverly, Randolph County, West Virginia. If you'll join me in the countdown, starting with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for joining us tonight and for sharing in this special West Virginia tradition with us. We hope that you enjoy the festivities and have a safe and joyous holiday season. Thank you. Before the governor and first lady depart for the Culture Center, we would like to thank members of the St. John United Methodist Church of South Charleston for their donation of the beautiful blue spruce outside the Lincoln Plaza. And now please pause for the retirement of the colors by the Mountaineer Challenge Academy. Thank you for attending tonight's Joyful Night Tree Lighting Ceremony. We invite you to enjoy the rest of the evening's festivities all across the State Capitol Complex.